Why are so many people gaga about Sarasota? In this video, we're going to talk about the 11 reasons why Sarasota is such a great place to live in. My name is Katrin Fitzsnoid. I'm a local real estate agent here in Sarasota County, and this channel is about hyper-focused Sarasota information. Subscribe, and let's get right into this video. Sarasota in Sarasota County is a city on the Gulf Coast of Florida located 61 miles south of Tampa and 170 miles north of Naples. The median age is approximately 49 per the last year's Census Bureau data. Sarasota has been voted the number one place to live in Florida, the number one best place to retire in Florida, and the ninth best place to live in the entire U.S. per U.S. News. Sarasota's claim to fame has historically been centered around the top-rated beaches, most notably Siesta Key Beach, which consistently gets voted the number one or the number two beach in the U.S. Siesta Key Beach is known for the white beach area, clear water, and white pottery-like sand that is made out of 99% quartz, which stays cool to the touch even in the hottest of summer days. But since this beach is so popular, it can actually be a hassle to find parking on the weekends. The good news is that there are many other Sarasota beaches to choose from. On Siesta Key, there's also Turtle and Crescent Beach. Further north, on Lido Key, just past St. Armand Circle, are three beaches as well. You've got North Lido, which is my absolute favorite, especially for sunset watching. There's Lido and South Lido Beach. Close by to the south of Sarasota are plenty of other beach choices, including Nokomis Beach and the Venice Beaches. In reality, just within the Sarasota area, there are about nine beaches to choose from, which are so easy to get to. And if we add in Longboat Key and the Anna Maria Island beaches, then there are so many more choices. Sarasota isn't just a beach town. Sarasota is so much more. The city has a fast-growing downtown area that offers lots of options in terms of entertainment, fine dining, rooftop bars, arts and theater venues. The downtown area has transformed so much over the last few years with more restaurant choices, shops, their taller buildings that have transformed the skyline in a relatively short period of time. So no longer is this a quiet and quaint area, but one that is growing with energy and with opportunity. One of the most exciting Gulf Coast community projects is the Bay Sarasota, which looks to transform 50 acres of a bayfront area into a multi-use and cultural space for all to enjoy. And this project is probably more exciting than the St. Pete Pier Innovation Project, which opened in 2020. And for those of you who have not been, the St. Pete Pier is now the heartbeat of downtown St. Petersburg. The Bay Sarasota will become the same for Sarasota. And as I always say in my videos, once it's done or once it's almost done, it will become the heart and soul of the downtown Sarasota area. There's really so much to appreciate about Sarasota, but what gets me every time when I'm driving my car is how stunning of a place Sarasota is when it comes to the landscape, the beautiful vistas that we have here. So I've traveled Florida and honestly, I think that Sarasota from a visual standpoint is the most awe-inspiring place. Sarasota offers a lot of punch in a relatively small area. Sarasota isn't just about the beaches. It isn't just about downtown or the Bayfront area. It isn't just about outdoor activities, but instead Sarasota is unique in that it caters towards so many different interests and lifestyles and all are relatively close to each other. So if you're located in say Palma Ranch, which has a central location in Sarasota, you're gonna be 15 minutes away from the beaches. Downtown Sarasota is about 20 minutes away, shopping about 20 minutes away, and so is the arts and theater scene, which typically is around the downtown area. 
People in the area also have a lot of outdoor activities to choose from. Pickleball is so popular around here and there's plenty of different venues to choose from. There are many places to go kayaking in, right? So we've got mangroves, which are great for kayaking adventures. You can either bring your own or you can call one of the companies that will get one ready for you at the kayaking venues. There are multiple golf courses to choose from, such as the Meadows Country Club or TPC Prestancia, which is a private club located in Palma Ranch. The Legacy Trail is the most popular biking and running trail, which now runs from Payne Park, downtown Sarasota, Sarasota all the way down south to Venice. Put out to the east is Mayaka State Park, which is a 58 square mile park, which is one of Florida's oldest and largest. And so when it comes to outdoor activities, there's truly so much to do, you name it, and most likely it's gonna be available to you in Sarasota. Sarasota is also known to be the arts and theater hub on the Gulf Coast, partially due to the direct influence of the Ringling family. So history has it that they drew performers and other artists to the area early on. The Ringling family's love for culture remained with Sarasota, and now people get to enjoy many different culture venues around town, including the Ringling Museum, the Oslo, the Urbanite, Sarasota Opera House, the Florida Studio Theater, and Sarasota's largest performing arts hall, called the Van Wesel. Sarasota even has one of the best art and design schools in the US called the Ringling College of Art and Design. And most people don't know this, but the animation program actually deserves high praise here because it consistently gets voted as the number one program, animation program in the world per the rookies. What do we got here, Doc? Well, name's Dentina, dental bear. Heart's missing. Oh, and the stuffing? It's polyfluff. So think of movies such as Avatar, Frozen, or Toy Story, and all these other animation movies. What do you think a lot of the animators who've worked on these movies actually have gone to school? Exactly, here. Let's talk about schools. Sarasota attracts a variety of different types of people, including professionals, retirees, and young families with children. Families with children choose Sarasota partially because of the Sarasota County Public School System, which is one of the best in Florida. I always suggest my clients to call the school administration for the most accurate school ranking information, but if you just refer to niche.com for direction information, Sarasota County ranks number one in safest school district and number two in best school district in Florida. Pine View is a high ranking magnet school for the gifted. What about healthcare? So what you need to know is that Florida is not known to have above par healthcare in the US. So before relocating, it's so important that you check the healthcare options and the ratings in a particular Florida location that you're interested in moving to if healthcare is important to you. Some areas are going to have really good healthcare options and some not so much. A lot of people will choose Sarasota because it has well-established healthcare providers. So for example, Sarasota Memorial Hospital was ranked number six in Florida and is considered high performing in 16 procedures per year's news. Did you know that Sarasota has an airport? Yes, we do. So if you live in Sarasota, there are a few airport options, including the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport, also referred to as SRQ, which is located in the northern part of Sarasota, which makes flying out of SRQ very convenient and less stressful. I actually love this airport and have taken many national and international flights from here. The other airport options is Tampa Airport, which is 57 miles away to the north, or Fort Myers Airport to the south, which is about 90 miles away. Now do me a favor, if you found value in this video, please like it, it does support this channel. Now if you're interested in the Sarasota neighboring area, I can help you find the perfect place. It would be my pleasure to partner up with you. Just call me or email me. Thank you so much for watching today, especially until the very end. I always appreciate it when you do. Take care.